Mr. Kaufman here uh, with a couple of shorts, some quick little videos about the rise uh, and growth of towns in medieval Europe. And this is just a breakdown of my longer video going over the same topic. I've uh, broken into just eight short videos to help you get the information in smaller chunks. Uh, to start off, uh, again, we're just taking a look at how Europe, medieval Europe, went from a system of feudalism where monarchs and nobles and knights reigned over uh, feudal Europe, where peasants and serfs were tied to the land, where people lived on feudal manors separate from each other, uh, scared to leave the walls of the feudal manors due to fear of attacks from other local tribes or from outside groups such as Vikings, and how that all began to break down and how around these feudal manors, towns grew up into the cities that we now know of today in Europe, like Paris and, and London. So breaking down our first video, uh, here we have an image, one of my favorite images of the city of Paris, right, in 1530. Again, Paris started off as a feudal manor, grew into a town. And I love this image. You see the walls, uh, the inner layer of walls, as well as in the outer uh, layer of the moat. that uh, also had a wall and just showed again the the organic growth of towns, how they look very different than the planned cities uh, that we know of today. Really cool thing, if you take a look at uh, Google Map, uh, Paris right now still has that same circular shape. So, growth of towns. Towns almost always, uh, still and true in Middle Age Europe, uh, grew up along waterways, rivers, uh, coastal areas, and the reason why is because water makes it a lot easier to trade. Uh, the transport of goods is made a lot easier by the, the buoyancy of water, meaning you can pack a whole lot of goods onto a boat and ship it down a lot easier than you could by packing it up on a wagon uh, or being carried by yourself or animal power. Now, what led to the towns besides uh, this increase of trade was this uh, improved agriculture. Uh, agricultural techniques improved, allowing fewer farmers to grow more food. And what that meant for Europe was less people had to grow food, more people then um, were able to do other things, right? Explore other skills, um, become experts at their crafts, such as stonemason or a cobbler, shoemaker. Now, again, with that becomes then this revival of trade, where cities specialized um, in certain crafts, and then would trade that craft with other cities. And that rose up to guilds and, and these strong groups of, of craftsmen, as well as uh, increased wealth. Now, how did towns gain their independence from the feudal lords? How did feudalism break down? Um, some through violent overthrows. Uh, there would be groups of people that would overthrow their local lord to right, self-govern. Others happened more peacefully. They gained enough wealth to then buy what was known as a charter uh, from a local king. And the charter gave them a permission to start their own town, to collect their own taxes, to govern, right, to come up with their own laws. Now, of course, it was still under the, the control of the king, the ultimate leader um, of that region. But, uh, again, it gave them some local control and, again, broke down these barriers of uh, feudalism. So there we go, that's our first short on the growth of towns. Uh, if you want more, check out the, the High Five History YouTube page and you can see more of these. Thanks.